Hi, this is Teresa from In A Day Development. Welcome to our video tutorial on Begin and End Mode. One of the most important and least understood aspects of Time Value of Money, or TVM, calculations is the choice between Begin and End Mode. Simply put, if you're in Begin Mode, the payments happen at the beginning of each period. If you're in End Mode, the payments happen at the end of each period. A more technical way of putting this is that Begin Mode payments are made in advance and End Mode payments are made in arrears. Usually, debt payments are structured in end mode, so that the first payment is made after the month has elapsed. If you were to make the payment at the beginning of the period, i.e. if you were in begin mode, you'd make your first payment on the same day you originated the loan, which doesn't make logical sense. In other words, let's say you borrow $100,000 on January 1st, and your payment is $2,000 per month. In an end mode scenario, you would owe your first payment on January 31st. In a begin mode scenario, you would owe your first payment on January 1st, the same day you originated the loan, and that just doesn't make sense. Since that's not typically the way it's done, that's a way to remember that loan payments are usually in end mode. So what's begin mode all about? Scenarios like savings plans are usually done in begin mode, because you make payments into your savings or investment account at the beginning of each month and let them grow throughout the month. If your investment finally matures on January 31st, your last deposit should be at the beginning of the month, i.e. January 1st. If you were in end mode, your final payment would be on January 31st, and then you would immediately withdraw all of your money without that final payment being able to accrue any interest. Okay, so how can you tell which mode you're in, and if you want to switch between modes, how do you do it? Well, right up here on the right side of the display, you see it says end mode, meaning calculations will be done in end mode. If you want to switch to begin mode, hit orange shift, then begin end. You'll notice that the display changes to begin mode. Okay, let's see how this changes things. If any of this is confusing, please review the videos for basic TVM functions as they go into more detail than this video does. My mortgage is a 15 year loan at 4.5% for $150,000, which has monthly payments and amortizes fully. In end mode, hitting orange shift, begin end gets me there. My payment is $1,147.49. The payment in begin mode, hitting orange shift, begin end gets me there. I find it by hitting payment once I'm in begin mode, and it's $1,143.20. That's $4.29 per month less in begin mode than in end mode. Not a huge difference, but people often wonder why the answer appears to be slightly off. The calculator is just in the wrong mode for the question you are asking. This is important because if you send $1,143.20, the begin mode payment, to your bank every month when you should be sending $1,147.49, the end mode payment, then the bank will be upset with you and the late fees will start piling up. Thanks for watching and make sure you get your 10B2 financial calculator from the App Store for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Mac OS. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at the team at inadaydevelopment.com.